All right, guys, walking into the space. This is a pretty large room. I believe this is 17 wide by, this is 21 to this back spot right here. And then there's a little alcove for like a rack. So this is a massive theater project that has been ongoing for several years. The customer contacted me. They said, hey, we're looking to finally get this thing done. Um, so we came out here, we got all this stuff done for him. He wanted to upgrade his center channel. Uh, we're gonna be raising this up just a little bit more so that it clears his three rows of seats. These are all custom made, handmade seating and they're super comfy. Uh, lots of, this, this room is super dark whenever it's done or whenever it's actually enclosed. We have the window open right now just so I can film this for you guys real quick. Let me show you this, let me shut this. They have this really cool star ceiling and they've been having problems with it. So I just went up there, checked it out. Um, it looks like we have to replace their light engine for the shooting stars as well as the twinkling stars as well. But this is a really, really cool effect. Uh, multiple lightings throughout the entire area. We have a drop down screen right up here up front. Solo Pro 3 drops down whenever you turn on the remote. This entire system is Bowers and Wilkins with uh, speakers. So the ones you see in the front, they're roughly the, 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 these, these are a little older models. These are roughly uh, 20 years old. We have these in the back. Um, customer may want to upgrade, you know, coming up sometime soon, but just to get them functional right now, we're using his, exis his, exi his existing gear so that we can get this thing operational. Down here, we have some of my favorites. We have SVS for the subs. These things are freaking innocuous, right? You can plug this anywhere and you're not gonna have to worry about tripping over it, stumbling, falling, and it gives out tons of output. Yeah. So we're using those. We have one on this corner. Let me go ahead and cover that back up. We have one over on the other corner. The guys are here right now. They're running the wires to get this stuff finished out. So we should be done pretty shortly. Uh, but besides that, I guess let's just show you the rest of the system whenever we have some more light in here. I'll show you guys the rack, but I'll pop back in in a minute. All right, guys, checking back in. I sent the guys out to lunch. They are off you know, recuperating. <laughs> so uh, this is a really cool project. The, again, this is a pretty big room. This is roughly a 20, 21 back to the lens of the projector itself, back in that little alcove to the screen distance. So this is a solo pro screen. Whenever the screen, actually you turn on the system, this drops down, the whole system's controlled by control four. This is a one room control system. We wanna make the customer's life easier instead of juggling a million remotes. So this is a full grid package, basically what you get you get your uh, projection screen, you get your projector itself, everything modeled out specifically for your room. No cookie, cut, no cookie cutter here. You know, we custom tailor this to your specific needs. Customer had a lot of out, um, a lot of existing Bowers and Wilkins. These are massive. <laughs> These are the size of a human. They're actually the size of a really, really well-fed uh, human, um, smaller sized, like a, like a huge, huge, huge toddler. But uh, those things are incredible. We've already done a quick little calibration in here for him. Um, but back here, we installed two of the SVS 3000 micro subs. We have them in this corner as well as over in this corner. We have floor standing towers for the rears. He has a decent amount of acoustic insulation with, you know, just doing the, the drapery as he did there. I opened up the stuff over here just so you guys can see in here. If those things are closed, this is an extremely dark room. We have the Sony 6000, Laser 6000 right up here. Um, customer wanted to do the 5000. We agreed that it'd be a better idea to upgrade for this particular room. So this thing is incredible. If you guys haven't seen it yet, highly recommend checking it out. We also have, we clean up the wiring back here. So this was an umbilical cord, as you can see right here. So now everything is run through the walls into the rack itself. So again, let's go ahead and show you the rack. This is a really easy and intuitive control system. Basically you just tell it watch and you want to watch Kaleidoscape. Everything turns on, comes to life. So everything's booting up right now. Kaleidoscape's on there. So we have the Marantz 7706. Again, he didn't need any Atmos in here. So just going with a decent processor and a powerful amp was plenty for him. We're also doing the Parasound A51 five channel monster. I love this thing. I personally used it in one of my theaters at home. And we also have the Kaleidoscapes down here. And then we have the uh, Strato C and the six terabyte unit right there. 
we did some networking down here, cleaned up some of that for him. And then we also have the AudioQuest Niagara 12,000 down there. That's cleaning up all the power, making sure that you're not, you're not losing any signal quality going through here. Another thing, we use AudioQuest for pretty much every single wire in here, uh, from the XLRs down to the HDMIs and the um, even the subwoofer cables. And then we used, to finish everything out, like I was talking about with the Niagara, we actually used, um, let me just show you. These, these are little watt box plugs, which help protect your system from any power outages. Well, I guess you guys probably aren't gonna be able to see this right down here, that little guy. So we just use that for anything connected to the system. So we have one for the projector itself. We have some for the subwoofers and uh, Solo Pro screen drops down right there in the middle, ready whenever you guys are to enjoy the movies. So I'm gonna finish off doing a calibration here. If you guys want any work like this done, please don't hesitate to contact Grid Hi-Fi or GridHomeTheater.com. Links down in the description. We'd be happy to help you out. Design your specific personalized theater so that's perfect for you guys. That's all I got for you guys. If you guys want more content like this, make sure you guys give us a big thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. We will see you next time.